just came here in my white bronco to return sunglasses so I'm not sure what all the commotion's about obviously um, so you've just watched me try to play Mercy 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 by uh, Joe Zawinul a uh, keys player for Weather Report and great writer um, he wrote that tune and I think Cannonball Adderley who's one of my favorite sax players and jazz musicians in general uh, used to play that tune with him Basically, I did this one because Lee Hinman, who's one of my patrons, asked me to take a look at that tune. I think he's been working on it this week as well. Um, and it's one of those, it's kind of like a gospel-y tune. I would put it like up there, kind of in the same bracket as Billy Taylor trios. Uh, I guess I, uh, I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. Um, but it's also kind of reminiscent of some of the more modern stuff like Wolfpack kind of vibes and um, you know that kind of groove based bluesy uh, gospely stuff. So the first thing that I was doing was listening to the melody this next bit which is basically the same as the, the main riff out of all blues uh And then G minor. 
So we're basically going between the keys of B flat, um, just a straightforward B flat major, and you know that's where the C minor, D minor, and the G minor at the end come from. And then we've just basically got like a B flat blues thing also going on. Excuse me, I'm allergic to blues. Um, anyway, so in terms of playing over here, oh, and then the thing that I did at the very end was take it kind of uh, to where the blues is sort of implying that we're at. Um, so I just took it and made that actually, you know, chord four and three of D flat major, which is sort of related, but sort of not. It's kind of, uh, basically think of it as a key change for the end. Um, and then in the very intro I was just doing stuff like B flat blues. And then this kind of little outside idea. Um, so when improvising over this I was treating this as like uh, just a B flat blues. And I was peppering in a little like back door uh, two five kind of thing. So that's like a also a Stevie Wonder kind of chord. Um, that A flat seven. Sounds pretty bluesy, but also pretty jazzy. So, so over that, I would play just a straightforward B flat minor pentatonic. Or you could, if you wanted to, play uh, an E flat melodic minor. De altered kind of ideas over that. So that's basically all of my strategy for that that first part of the tune. So kind of pick, playing blues, and the thing I guess about this blues stuff is to to try and get that balance between um, the two kind of uh, worlds. So you've got like a, a normal B flat major kind of pentatonic world and also a B flat minor pentatonic world. And some of the better uh, blues players can kind of switch between those two pretty seamlessly. Um, I find that the, the key kind of pivot is around This kind of minor third, major third, that, that's kind of the pivot of the whole world thing. Um, so maybe focus on. Um, so focus on that. that note sounds like and controlling that note. You might want to consider E flat major or B flat mixolydian as a as a alternate kind of approach or you know join that up as well with it. Um, and then for that Again, that's the same kind of harmony, and then for that part there, we're very much in kind of B flat major for that. So you wanna Again, it's that same switch, and then once we get to this part, we're, 
very much straightforward B flat major. So we're playing the two minor and the three minor. And then the six minor. Arpeggiating kind of C minor. And then D minor. And then resolving back to that six. So that's basically all my approach was for that tune. Uh, you, for blues, um, I think it makes sense to try and focus on the third, that minor third, natural third relationship. Um, focus on that kind of mixolydian sound as well. You might want to focus on kind of triad pairs. So, for instance, if we're playing in B flat blues, A flat major and B flat major triads. So, those are just some of my strategies that I would consider for this tune. Um, again, it's kind of a simpleish one, but I think to play blues kind of licks convincingly or try and um, convey that feel can be a bit tricky. Um, I just wanted to show my kind of approach on it. If you've got other tunes that you want me to cover in this way, let me know. I'll put the backing track up on Patreon. Um, but that's just how I'm thinking about the tune when I'm playing it. And hopefully that's vaguely useful. I think next week I'm going to work on Invitation, uh, which is jazz standard, as I heard Mike Marino. Um, talking about it a little bit or something on Instagram anyway I caught it and it sounded like a cool tune to me so I'm going to check that out um, but that's next week if you've got any of this kind, of, these kind of tunes that you want me to cover please let me know um, even if they're simple ones or even if they're difficult ones it, I guess it helps me to think through my approach to these tunes as well if there was anything useful in here and you wanted to make a one-off donation only if you wanted to um, don't if you can't afford it or don't if you didn't get anything out of this, but if you did and you wanted to, I've got a buy me a coffee link. Um, but as I say, really only use that if you really wanted to for whatever reason. Um, and if you could like and subscribe, that would be helpful. Um, and let me know what jazz tunes you want me to do in this kind of way, uh, if this was at all useful. Cheers.